Well, hello everyone, Denise here, The Crafty DIYer. Found this at the thrift store. I knew exactly what I was gonna do with it. It's gonna go in my office and we're gonna paint it, we're gonna stamp it, and we're gonna turn this into something really beautiful. Okay, let's get to it. And don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. Now here, I'm using um, my French tip, okay? And what that's doing is just allowing me to get right into all the crevices here. I didn't want to get the green on the face of this and I really didn't want to tape it off. So all I'm doing is using my artist brush and I'm just very carefully getting it all down in the corner. Just like that. So because this didn't have any glass or plastic on it and I didn't really want to take it out of the actual casing so we're just gonna paint this just like this, but we gotta remove these. So all you gotta do is just pop this little, just this little screw off there, and then these just pop off, just like that. And now we can paint all around here. So to make sure, after I paint this, to make sure it's all lined up, all the sixes, all I'm gonna do is just make a little mark here, just to let me know see here right here just to let me know that's where the six is and this is just gonna wipe right off and then I can just repaint it if it scratches it up at all okay, so now we're gonna paint it white swan white swan is a really nice uh, warm white and we are gonna paint right over this guys right over it now because this color is kind of a yellowish color, we're probably gonna have to do two coats. A complete supply list will be listed below and my website is IWantToCraft.com. Okay, so because we're gonna put a transfer on this, what we're going to do is we're going to seal it with Big Top. Whenever you're gonna use a transfer, you always wanna make sure you're sealing it, especially if you're gonna be using a chalk type paint. And uh, this, of course, is clay paint, so yeah. We wanna seal this. Now listen, you're gonna to wanna to let this sit for a bit, okay? Let this cure up, I would say, for a couple of hours. So now we're gonna do stamp, and this is what we're using. This is called the type set. You get the uppercase, lowercase, and numbers, and that's what we're going to use out of this set here. That's everything that you get with this. Now, don't forget, you can get all of this stuff at IWantToCraft.com. We used IOD ink in black, and it is Indian ink, so it's permanent. So when we go and seal this, it won't smear. Now, if you're using a dye ink, which is for paper, if you use that on this kind of method, it's going to smear. So make sure you give yourself some IOD ink. So the film of me putting this on here uh, didn't quite take. So basically what I did is I just trimmed this out and I decided what part of the transfer I wanted. I'm just going to rub this down, and then with my other hand, I'm gonna lift this up. All right, and I'm gonna show you it in just a second. Okay, so we've got it all off, and then you're just gonna take the corner of this and just remove it. 
Now, isn't that gorgeous? Now, what we're gonna do is, this sort of looks like it's uh, floating. So we're gonna fix this. We're gonna put some leaves around here. And I think we're also going to do a little bit of stamping because this is just it looks a little pristine. We also need to white wax all of this too. Okay, so now I'm just going to take just a sanding pad and just very lightly sand this. Okay, so we're going to use uh, this stamp. It's called Kindest Regards, and it's actually a love letter, guys. It is one of my most favorite to use as a background. So I'm just going to stamp this up, or should I say ink it up? And then we're gonna stamp it. And I am using uh, the black ink. And this is gonna be kind of a random thing that we're gonna do. I'm just gonna hit spots here and there. So now we're going to white wax this, and this is what's really gonna make all of this detail pop. I'm only gonna do work in sections, but I wanna really make sure that I get it all into those nooks and crannies. And then we're going to take a lint-free rag. I have paper towel and I'm gonna wipe it back. 